is the Bird Brain, and today we are doing some paper lace animation. So this week's video is not so much a tutorial about how to do this or that, it's more about understanding the interface and working faster when you do your animation. So I'm gonna give you a couple of tips and tricks about how to make the interface work for you. So my very first tip is a small thing you might or might not know. So right now my playback goes from 20 to roughly like 47 or something, and if I make it play it does something like that, but uh, what if I want to change it? You can take your black triangles and move them around, but sometimes it's harder to get them. So I prefer to use the buttons right there. So start, if you press on the letter, it's gonna make your playback section start there. And if you go here and you press stop, it's gonna make it stop there. So you can change your playback section very quickly uh, using these two words. You only have to click on uh, the words themselves. Another thing I like to use when I animate paperless is the thumbnail option. So if you go in your timeline right there and you have your layers, if you go on the left, there's like a little thing that looks something like that. It's like a little happy person in a square. <laughs> well, that button is actually called the thumbnail. And if you press on it, boop, it opens up your layer, allowing you to edit the opacity very quickly of that layer. But most importantly, it allows you to see uh, thumbnails of your drawings. So if you zoom in a little more than halfway, you'll be able to clearly see what your drawings are, and you'll also be able to edit your drawings timing with these little options. So if you put your cursor at the edge of a drawing, you'll have either a yellow or a red box that will appear. So the red box will eat away everything that you slide it to, replacing all the drawings by the one you have currently active, while the yellow will push everything away, creating space in between two drawings. This thing is very useful when you're doing lip sync because it allows you to play between two mouth poses or just push away your whole dialogue one frame if you see that it bugs a little bit. So, very cool. Another very cool way to move around your drawing is by using the shortcuts uh, dot and comma, like these little thing. It works well on a Canadian keyboard, but you might have to change it. So you can change it and just look for next frame and you can change it to whatever you want. Because I know it's one of the shortcuts that is a bit difficult around the world. So uh, there you go. It's next frame and the other one is previous frame. Ta -da! All right, I'm gonna keep mine that way. So this allows you to go back and forth between your frames. And if you want to jump between your drawings, you can use the F and G shortcuts, allowing you to jump from one drawing to another. Now, to use the FNG shortcuts like a pro, you need to get the mark drawing and flip toolbars. I usually put them in my timeline, uh, right next to um, my playback options. Mark drawing allows you to mark your drawings with different options. Usually red stands for keyframe, while blue stands for breakdown. And if you want to remove it, you just select your drawings and you press on the I. This is for in between, and in between don't have a color because otherwise everything would be colored and it would be confusing. Uh, you also have the retake key, the retake breakdown and retake in between. They're not used that much anymore as what they're supposed to be. But hey, it allows you to make your drawing green, yellow or purple. Use that to your advantage. I mean, I sometimes use the green to mark the beginning of a cycle, for example. So uh, it's up to you to use it as you want. After you marked some drawing, you can also use the flip toolbar to fine tune your F and G game. And now if I press, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see better. And if I press on my K here, I will only jump between my red drawings. Allowing me to see only my keyframes. If I want to see only my breakdowns, I can unclick the K and click the B and jump from my breakdowns to my breakdowns. So usually you can set the K and B together so you only see your important poses before you do your in-betweens. And now if you want to see everything, you can just uncheck them and start to see everything. These are also very useful with the onion skin that I'm going to show you right here because they're also available. So it allows you to see your onion skin but only on certain, uh, on your keyframes for example. But I'll keep this for another video. But hey, if you want to explore, go ahead and try to use your mark drawings alongside your onion skin. Last but not least, the thing I want to show you is the model view. So the model view is a view that is available with the plus button right here. It's called model. And it gives you like a, a blank area. And in this blank area, you can take a reference. I usually have uh, a layer here with my reference 
This is a reference that I drew in Harmony and it has a very cool option that I'm going to show you in a moment. But you could also just go on Google and copy paste any image in there or just import any image that you want. It doesn't matter, you can even draw something and just put it in your model view. To put a drawing in the model view, it's as easy as clicking on it and just dragging it and releasing it inside the model view. Now you can do that with a couple of drawings or you can do that with the whole layer and just shove it in there. And now if you had multiple drawings, you can skip from all these, all these drawings. Now another reason it's very useful is that if I'm starting to draw something, now I'm using my default red colors, but as soon as you go in the model view, you see my cursor changes, changes to an eyedropper, allowing me to take a color from my palette and just start to draw with it. So this is only possible if you drew your asset directly in Harmony because Google Image doesn't have palettes for Harmony to pick from. But if you're using reference from the software, uh, getting to color your drawing with this would be very uh, quick. So now if I take my bucket and I go in my model view and I take the crown's color, I can start and paint uh, my character using that color. So, uh, And as you see, if I modify this drawing, it's also going to modify it in my model view because it's basically just reading my uh, layer. So of course, to navigate around the model view, it's the same as navigating inside your camera view. So spacebar to move around, alt control to move your camera, alt control to rotate your camera, same thing. If you're upside down, just press shift X to reset your rotation and shift M to reset everything. So I hope you enjoyed this and I really hope it's gonna be useful for you in the future. With that, have a nice day and see you next week.